What up farm? So today is an exciting day because at long last the shearing shed project is getting underway. We've um, changed erectors, people who are going to put the shed up um, and the new fellas are here and today they're going to be digging the foundations. Some decent sized holes there. Got it all marked out and they've drilled some holes. Looks really good. All right, so the shed builders have dug the foundation holes. Um, they're currently just waiting on the council surveyor to come out and just make sure that the foundations are up to scratch and then they will um, the cement truck will be out and this afternoon they're gonna pour the footings for the shed so very exciting So the process goes, they've dug the holes and they put the cement in, um, in the holes. Um, I've got this series of string lines which coincide with where the posts need to be and where the holes are. Um, they've got a laser set up over there and that gives them the height that it needs to be at and then Trav just puts the the um, the bolts. What do you call them things? Hold down bolts, mate. The hold down bolts. Yep. Puts them in the concrete where they need to be, and he's got laser eyes, so he gets it in the right spot, and then we let it set. Um, I've had to leave them finishing off the um, the footings for the shed. I'm in my ute on the way to the fire station because there's a fire um, out north somewhere. Yesterday we had a heap of lightning and it's just happened to start up. So um, being part of the local CFA, I'm on my way around there to jump on the fire truck. All right, so I fulfilled my CFA duties. Um, I ended up with the quick fill pump on the back there. Took that out so that we could pump out of a tank. Um, the fire was only small from the lightning storms yesterday. But anyway, I've just dropped back into mum and dad's and they got all the footings done and yeah, looks good. It's pretty exciting. Look at that, real life drone. This is a sizzle lift, just got unloaded. Makes that JCB look like a toy. <laughs> this is cool. I notice I am holding onto the rail. <laughs> so I've just got back from Mount Gambia for three days and come down to have a look at the shed. And <whistles> I've made some progress. So it's pretty cool. 
when we flattened the pad out we kind of got an idea of what it was going to look like but now that it's all going up and seeing the size of it it's pretty exciting it looks pretty good so the basic layout of the shed is these posts are halfway this side this bay will be grating and shearing board that bay will be wool working area and then these two bays will be undercover yards so that we can work our sheep out of the sun and out of the rain um, it's a massive step forward in in how we will work sheep and um, hopefully we see some benefits from it but geez it's Looking good. It's looking really good. I'm so excited. Anyway, let's uh, let's see if this will work. Mm. Not bad. <whistles> Look at that. Dude, I've made some progress. I've got cladding on this end. I've even got a door on. I'd say, judging by that, they don't want me to open it. I got the roof on the shearing shed part, minus skylight. Um, yeah. Gee, it's looking good. I've got a door on this side. Wow. This is exciting. It's going to be a big shed. Under here, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot cooler, even though it's just in the shade. Um, it's making a big difference, so no, I'm excited for what this will do for our for our sheep operation. I reckon it'll be it'll be very advantageous, that's for sure. I got most of the roof on here. It's a bit windy for him to keep going, um, but yeah, it's going to be a lovely area to work out here in the undercover yards. Um, dare I say it? I might even be looking forward to doing some sheep work. Anyway, it's looking good. Not long it'll be done. Um, yeah. <whistles> Look at that. They got her done. Well, almost, almost done. But look at it. We got doors, doors on here, access door here. <whistles> She's nice. She's looking good. So the only thing that happened is there's a door that's going on here. They forgot to send the door beam. That's on its way sometime. Then they'll be back to finish it after that. But we're in the covered yard section now. You can see they've got the, the little skirt on the outside. It comes down a meter. That's just to stop a bit of rain and a bit of wind coming in. But geez, it's nice. We had uh, 10 mils of rain here last night and there's a lot of water come out and wash down so we'll need to get a tank very soon <laughs> no, i don't think it'll take long to fill up but yeah no it's is exciting it's it's looking good now we've just got to um organize the shearing shed fit out the uh so that's building the part where the sheep actually stand and walk or stand and then the shearing part and we've got to concrete the floor, but for now it's, it's being used as machinery storage because why not? If we paid this much for a shed, we may as well use it in the meantime. And yeah, it's looking good. It's going to be very, very exciting when we finally get to shear a sheep in here. Anyway, big thanks to the shed builders, the fellas who put it up. Um, yeah, it's looking good. Um, they did a great job and oh yeah it's an action steel shed so if you're after a shed um, hit them up they'll be able to make something happen and yeah thanks for watching